Time My Collection. Hello and welcome. I've done loads of trial and error with the 124270 Rolex Explorer and I'm all about NATO straps, all about NATO straps. And I think I've finally ordered and found how I changed the NATO straps without damaging them and found just about all of the NATO straps I'll probably ever need with this model. This is the current strap that I've got on now. I have not taken this off since I put it on. This on the bond strap is just, even on my Instagram, so many comments, so many compliments of just how this suits so well. The bracelet is fantastic. We know the bracelet is fantastic. All modern Rolex bracelets are fantastic. However, that NATO strap is keeping me away from the bracelet, but I'll probably wear it back in the winter. I keep my bracelet in here just because of the double foam. Keep it nice and safe. But there you can see the Rolex bracelet is under there for this model. Nice. The bracelet's fantastic. You can't fault it at all. But I've just got something going on with NATO straps that is just... Either way, let me show you something. This was originally a strap for my Amiga. And my Amiga's a bigger model. So you can see there's a slight line here. A slight curve in the NATO. And that's probably for something to do with uh, how it wore on my Seamaster. And that was enough for me to buy a new one because it put, it put me off. These are the NATO straps we're going to go through. It's a brand new James Bond there. I'll get straight into it. An olive grey. I'm not sure which type of green. I will get to the other green, but I'm not sure which one. Is going to be the one that stays in this Rolex uh, where I keep the NATOs and stuff. This type of grey, I'm not sure about that one because this grey is the one that appeals to me a bit more. All brand new and the green. This green, I've already worn it on this watch, it's fantastic. These two are straps that I replaced because when I put them on the first time, I pulled it through and it's very tight in there. And it just gave a little slight thread, slight thread, but it was enough to make me uh, replace them because as you can tell, if this little line here could annoy me enough to buy a new one, a slight thread would annoy me enough to buy a new one as well. I've also got a NATO strap that I've rarely worn it's not brand new, but I'm thinking, does this stay in the box with the Rolex Explorer? Or does it stay with the Seamaster? I'm not sure, because I don't want to share straps anymore, even though they're both 19mm millimeters, just because if this is going to be leaving a print on this, when I wear it on a smaller watch, I don't want it. So I'll just get its own NATO straps for it. Um, they're my new straps. Let you focus there. I'm not sure. Like the bond strap already. So I'm I'm not going to try that one on last. The bond strap. Because I already know. It's going to look like this. Without the crease. Which is just. Outstanding. Um, outstanding. But what I will do is. Take off this strap. And put the other ones on. And see how it is. With this uh, model, it's not that easy to change the NATO straps. You can't just pull it out. Um, you would end up damaging it. So what you do need to do is take off the spring bars separately and that will release the NATO for this model. It's a bit of a bummer, I know. But it looks fantastic. So it's worth it. Okay, cool. Let's go. Nice and easy. Spring bar out. Nice. 
nice and easy spring bar out of course this is way more longer than just threading through a nato but it's very tight in there very very tight in there so with this model if you don't want to damage your nato you will have to do it this way adios to this this is going to go back to my seamaster we've got the new one there um what should we go with first I've seen this, I've seen this. Let's go with some of the new colors. This is like an, like an olive. Let's see what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, that would probably get cut out once I am using it anyway. But let's go. On the darker side, however, I'm not sure. Not sure. Don't know. Let me put it on the wrist. First impressions. Mm. Mm. Nah, not really. It's not really popping to me, this color. Can he lie? It's not really popping to me, this color. Okay, cool. Next one. Let's go. It's not really... For some reason, although it's 19 millimeters, it's not really... It's not really popping at me at all. I don't think. Maybe because it's brand new, I'm not sure. Maybe I need to give it a go, put it on with an outfit. I'm not sure. But right now, it's not really popping. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this vintage grey from Watch Gecko. And let's get on the other one. This colour means something to me instantly. I don't think the other ones will really work, unfortunately. I don't think they really work. But this one, I think is a much better grey, instantly. And I think this one, this one stays, this one stays. What do you think in the comments? Let me know. But this grey for me stays. This one is a bit too light and I'm not even sure if it will go on my Seamaster, but this grey with this Explorer 124270, hold. this works, this goes. All right, cool. Let's go to the green strap next. Let's go. This is the final time I'm buying NATO straps. The bracelet's excellent, but I do love a NATO. So I need to make sure I've got what I need when the time comes. And this green, this one's popping instant. This green is popping instantly. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, this strap and this strap is from the same place. I think it's Watch Obsession. And the length is a lot better. As you can see, that it's tucked in a lot better. Uh, just looks a lot better than these two. Um, yeah, I think this looks fantastic. I've worn this like this for a bit. I had some pictures on my Instagram. And I know why it's easy. Um... The bond strap last. I feel like not to put it on because if I put it on, it's going to stay on because I've kept it on. So what I'll do is I've got a bogus NATO strap that I'm not sure if I want to keep for the Explorer or my Seamaster. And that's this one. What do you think? Nah, it doesn't work like that. All right, cool. Let's go, let me change back in a bit. All right, we're back, we've got the yellow mustard on. Hmm, it definitely, definitely reminds me of summer, but I'm not sure if it's a bit too much. And uh, I do like this watch because not many people can notice it. And I feel with this type of strap, 
you will look because of the strap and then you might kind of notice what is on the strap. What do you think? This actually does go well and uh, pair well with my Seamaster because it's got the faux patina, which is kind of yellowy, mustardy, orange, all at the same time. Um, mm, I don't think this will stay in the Rolex box, but it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. That's all my new straps. Let me know which you think uh, should be kept or transferred. I was thinking of the vintage Bond strap. This strap, but once again, it's got the markings, the lines, the marks. So it's just been worn and it's worn to another watch, which I just feel, no. So I didn't order a new one. I just felt this Bond was so, so much of a perfect fit that I just leave it there. But Rolex Explorer 124270. The yellow actually looks good now that I've put it down. Like a real summer watch. Like that's actually... I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below on the YouTube. Or let me know over at Instagram. Whichever one's best for you. But definitely... This is the monster strap for me. I haven't taken this, the old one off anyway, but this is a brand new one. These are the straps that are gonna be in the Rolex box. Um, so, along with the bracelet. So I'll, I'll house them all together. My Explorer is either gonna be on the green, gray, black and gray, or the infamous bracelet, I think. And even now, just looking at all of these colors against the yellow, I think the yellow is a bit too much. And this is for an occasion. I think it's a bit too much. These ones feel more military. Look at that, look how hard he's pressing in. Anyway. These two, I feel a bit more military and uh, they will fit good, I think, on my Seamaster. I've just come back from holiday, so my Seamaster was on this strap at the beach. I love that. Let's just quickly... This is how it should be, really. So one of the big cons of the 124-270 is just how tight the lugs are. Um, this is where it should be, really. And I'm not, I'm not gonna, and this is actually a 20 millimeter strap that is fitting into a 19 and just sliding out. Uh, can't deny it. That's how it should be. It should be that easy to change the strap. Um, let's go with the gray. Hmm. Maybe the watch needs to be old as well to actually work with these vintage straps from Watch Gecko. They're quite expensive as well. 25 pounds each, so maybe if you, maybe they are special, I don't know. Nah, let me fix that. I do have an official um, Amiga gray strap as well. So it's not that I need a gray, that's all right, I guess. I guess, but yeah, actually, if this watch was looking a little bit more beat up, I think this gray would actually really go with this watch. Let me know what you think. Let me just put on the last one and we'll end the video there. Just sharing the new NATOs, try to get the perfect NATO selection for my Rolex Explorer. And I think I have three NATOs and the bracelet. You don't need much more. Um, at all really and ooh, <laughs> I think this is looking uh, okay so I like this yeah these straps for me are definitely going to go on the Seamaster um, 
I think the Seamaster does look more vintage, even though it's a vintage reissue, but it does look more vintage than the Explorer. The Explorer looks like a modern version of the 1016 and the older Rolex Explorers, but this is a reissue and this looks very military with these two straps, which I'm, it's, uh, for me, let me know what you think, but I don't think that these straps are gonna go back to the Rolex anymore. I don't think. Time my collection, new straps for my Rolex Explorer. And I think I found the best combination. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you.